today we're venturing into the murky waters. Here are the top seven dangerous types of fish ever found. Number seven, Goliath tigerfish. While most of the fish on this list only attack humans if provoked, the Goliath tigerfish stands apart for having actively attacked humans on a number of occasions. Found throughout the Congo River Basin, the Goliath tigerfish is rather large, growing to lengths of about one and a half meters and weights of up to about 50 kilograms. It hunts by ambushing small fish, speeding up to them and clamping down on them with a large set of teeth, with each tooth typically growing as much as one inch long. As a result, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the local name for the species is the Mbenga, which means the dangerous fish in Swahili. Yet what makes the Goliath tigerfish really dangerous is the fact that it will often attack prey much larger than itself. As such, it has routinely assaulted both crocodiles and humans. And stories abound throughout the Congo River Basin of attacks from this nasty creature. As a result, we'd recommend staying far away from this body of water, unless you'd like to become its next victim. Number six, red-bellied piranhas. Throughout the Amazon River, there are packs of predatory fish known as red-bellied piranhas. These crazy carnivores, which grow to lengths of about 50 centimeters and weigh in at about five kilograms, are notable because they are not only meat eaters, but also have extremely sharp sets of teeth. Typically, they use said teeth to chase down small prey, such as worms, crustaceans, and fish. And in fact, will often scavenge for plants and insects in order to meet their dietary needs. However, when food is scarce, piranhas will at times gang together to take down large prey in what is known as a feeding frenzy. Usually eating up said large individual within minutes, the victim will typically be an animal such as a capybara or an egret. However, in some cases, the victim will unfortunately be a human. And although such occurrences are extremely rare, they have unfortunately led to some very horrific deaths. Number five, swordfish. As the name suggests, swordfish are definitely one of the sharper fish out there. That's because their sword-shaped bills are extremely honed and durable and are typically used to hunt down smaller fish. However, rather than impale their prey with their swords, they typically use them as scythes, slashing through small schools of fish in order to knock them out and gobble them up. While their fast speeds and ferocious hunting style are no real danger to humans, swordfish can be quite the hazard when they're harpooned. That's because when impaled, they will typically jump or dive in such a way that could damage a boat or injure a human. Unfortunately, a Hawaiian man by the name of Randy Lames found this out the hard way in 2015, when he became the first recorded person to be killed by one of these creatures. You see, he had shot one with his harpoon when, by instinct, the swordfish jumped up and, in the process, punctured Lames in the chest, leading to him to later passing away in the hospital. This just goes to show how dangerous swordfish truly are. It turns out that swordfish are much more dangerous when they're out of the water than when they're inside of it. This is because their meat contains very high levels of mercury, and this is of special concern to pregnant women. Turns out that long-term swordfish consumption can cause mercury to accumulate in your bloodstream over time. And that if too much mercury is in a pregnant woman's bloodstream, it could damage a baby's developing brain and nervous system. As a result, we suggest you stay far away from this mercury-high fish dish if you're expecting a child anytime soon. Number four, pufferfish. While pufferfish may not be the largest or fastest fish out there, their ability to puff up and poison their predators makes them extremely dangerous. Now, pufferfish typically only inflate when they feel threatened, as their puffed up persona makes them look like a giant ball of spikes, which isn't exactly appetizing for a would-be predator. Additionally, their spikes contain a neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin, which can cause paralysis, seizures, and even death in humans. To make matters worse, the neurotoxin is not only up to 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide, but it's also so abundant in the pufferfish that just one has the ability to kill up to 30 adult humans. When you then further consider that there is no antidote for a pufferfish's neurotoxins, it becomes clear that they should probably be avoided. Interestingly, however, there is a Japanese delicacy known as fuku that turns the pufferfish into a delectable dish. Having been eaten by the Japanese for over 2,000 years, fugu is a mainstay in Japanese culture. However, in recent years, it has been heavily regulated by the state. Ever since 1958, chefs had to obtain a license in order to prepare fugu. This involves first completing a two-year apprenticeship under a certified fugu chef, and then undertaking an examination. The first two hours of said examination is written, but afterwards, there's a three-minute fugu identification component 
and a 20-minute fugu preparation component. However, considering that only about 35% of the applicants pass, the license certainly isn't easy to obtain. Regardless, even though these chefs are highly trained, you would undoubtedly be taking a pretty big risk if you chose to consume a pufferfish. Number three, lionfish. While the vibrant patterns, bright colors, and interesting shape of a lionfish may make them one of the most beautiful fish on this list, this certainly doesn't make them any less dangerous. Hailing from the South Pacific and Indian Oceans, there are 12 species of lionfish out there, all of which feast on shrimp and smaller fish. However, when threatened, they'll make use of the poisonous spikes that they have across their back, pelvis, and underside. Being filled with toxin, being stung with said spikes can cause intense pain and sweating, and in extreme cases, respiratory distress and paralysis in humans. Luckily, there is a rather simple cure for lionfish stings, as one must simply remove the spines and soak the wound in hot water to help break down the toxins. If this treatment is performed, then the pain from the sting typically subsides after one or two days. However, if it's not treated in time, then it's far less effective. Yet what makes lionfish even more worrisome is that they're an invasive species, appearing in densities of over 350 fish per hectare on some reefs. They've spread across the eastern seaboard and the Mediterranean. This is problematic because they not only have no predators outside the Indo-Pacific, but they also have a voracious appetite and most notably decimated about 65 to 95 percent of the endemic small reef fish in the Bahamas in just a 30-year time frame. As a result, we can expect issues regarding these feisty fish to continue to skyrocket if their overpopulation is not addressed soon. Number two, Kandiru. Found in the depths of the Amazon, the Kandiru is a fish that is very small but incredibly mighty. Measuring in at about 17 centimeters in length and being clear in color, it's very hard to spot and is widely known as a vampire fish due to its tendency to swim into the gills of smaller fish and live off them like a parasite. However, while the reports on the subject are shaky, there's quite a bit of anecdotal evidence to suggest that Kandirus have another target, humans. In particular, reports specify that Kandirus have a tendency to swim into human private parts, with urethras being the most common place of attack. It is said that once there, they will latch on to its walls with barbs, with said spikes only driving deeper into them if you try to pull one out. As a result, while some suggested remedies do exist, many historical accounts suggest just cutting the offending member off in order to relieve yourself of the pain. Luckily, however, the actual empirical evidence attesting to Kandiru attacks remains limited. In fact, many scientists today believe that these were just sensationalized stories, and that if a Kandiru were to swim up your private parts, it would be completely by accident, as they would not survive for long after having done so. Regardless, we'd still suggest staying far away from the Amazon's murky waters, just in case. After all, you never know if a cruel Kandira will make you their next target. Number one, great white sharks. Although great white sharks are not quite as dangerous as movies like Jaws and Sharknado make them out to be, they definitely still are one of the most dangerous animals out there. Measuring as long as six meters and typically weighing in at more than two and a half tons, it's pretty clear that the great white is massive. Unsurprisingly, it therefore uses its sheer power and 300 serrated teeth to its advantage, attacking prey such as sea lions, seals, small toothed whales, and sea turtles. Yet it turns out that at times, humans also make their way onto the menu. And while sharks don't actually like the taste of humans, they often mistake them for seals. However, after they take one bite and realize their mistake, they generally swim away. Unfortunately, this really is rather weak assurance, as even one bite is enough to severely maim or even kill a human. Yet with only about 30 to 35 great white shark attacks occurring per year, the chances of you coming face to face with one are rather low. As a result, if we crunch the numbers, it seems that it really is the sharks who should be scared of us. That's because if we include all types of sharks, humans kill a total of 100 million of them every single year. In other words, between 6.4 and 7.9% of their entire population. Primary reason for this shark slaughter is thanks to the demand for shark fin soup from many Asian countries, where it's a delicacy that's so expensive that just one bowl of it can cost upwards of 100 bucks. As a result, conservation efforts are being made around the world to ensure that these sharks remain in our oceans and stay off our dinner plates.